hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much I appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some it's not and the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So, let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. So, Finesse Two Times Brother, no love, y'all. As messy as he is, he just pulled up on Honeycomb Brazy's mother. Okay, y'all? Now... First off, I have to start by saying this. I'm starting to lose a little respect for Honeycomb Brazy. And the reason why that I'm starting to lose respect for him is he's beefing on the internet with a lot of people. Okay, y'all? He's beefing with people. And the people that he's beefing with, he don't know what they're capable of, especially when money is involved. I'm just saying. Okay, y'all? This circle of people that he's beefing with, and the people that he's tied to with this whole mob tags and all of this other mess that he they got going on, they're dangerous people. Okay, y'all? And they don't have screws. They got a lot of screws missing, okay, y'all? And they don't mind um doing just just saying, y'all, stupid stuff. They get themselves, you know, sent to prison or somebody else. Okay? They do have people that's crash dummies that will do things that they tell them to do. And go to prison for it. Happily. Okay, y'all. Now, the last time that I was looking at any videos about No Love, which is Finesse Two Times Brother, him and his brother was into it. And they had to put a, 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 a little knot on his head, y'all, just to get him to go sit down somewhere. Okay? Then he started coming for his brother, talking about he going to air out all his information and put it out. He was posting, showing everybody the knot on his head. Now, mind you, Finesse two times made him sign, you know, one of them, that paperwork that he can't even talk. And he still was online talking, talking about what he going to do and this and that and that and this. Okay? Um, this guy is somebody that I wouldn't even want around me. Because he will blow up your spot. Okay, y'all? And I don't even think Finesse want to be bothered with him, but he do it because of his mama. Okay? Because they keep bumping heads. And um, he gave him a chance only because their mama told him to, you know, that he need help and this and that and that and this. And, you know, sometimes you got to love some people from a distance. I'm just saying, y'all, especially if it's somebody that will get you sent off, send you straight off. Okay. And this is what Finesse Two Times Brother No Love is about. Okay. Now, he have been going in on Honeycomb Brazy. Okay, and Honeycomb Brazy have been going in on him as well. Okay, now the reason why I say that I'm losing some respects for Honeycomb because I actually like Honeycomb Brazy. Okay, y'all, and then the more that people have been coming to me telling me about you know um the whole situation between Honeycomb and how he looked out for finesse and this and that and that and this, it made me look at finesse sideways like that's some dirty stuff to do. If some if you look out for somebody and then you go to jail, you know why they in jail and then you get locked up. And you out, and they in there, and then you ain't looking out for them. Um, no, nah, that ain't how you do things, okay? If somebody look out for you, you look out for them. Because sooner or later, you might need that person again. And it might not be there for the simple fact of how you act when they needed you, okay? Um, but some people get all big head, and they, and they feel like, you know, if they got a little, a little leeway or something, they feel like it's going to always be there, and they're not going to need you ever again. So they're not worried about you. Because this is how some people feel. And this is how I'm looking at finesse two times right now, okay? Because I don't see you looking out, not looking out for somebody that that look out for you, you know, period, okay? You always supposed to look out for the, the hand that feeds you. I'm just saying, okay? So I don't even look at finesse two times the same anymore as far as that, you know? Because I was like, you know, I'm in this corner, this and that and that. But when I found out that he he snake honeycomb, I'm like, no, nah, I can't rock with you like that, okay? But anyway, um, they've been going at it since he got out of jail. You know, it, it, Honeycomb don't hold nothing back. He gonna let you know how he feel. You know, if you wronged him, he gonna let you know. He don't care. 
he gets into it with his record label and everybody a lot of people is scared of you know jay prince and all of them okay so everybody was looking at him like he you know he wilding now because he was even getting into it with jay prince jr you know he is signed to <laughs> jay prince jr's daddy <laughs> and he was going in on him so this just goes to show you that honeycomb has no filter he don't play around when it comes to that okay um but anyway, him and, you know, um, Jay Prince, them kind of put their differences aside and they talk that out and this and that and that and this. Now, I don't know if that included Finesse Two Times. I really don't think it did, but possibility because Finesse Two Times is on Jay Prince Jr. label. Okay, y'all, he's saying to them. So it's a possibility that this is supposed to, you know, to, to stop all of the beef in between them. I don't know. Or it could have just been between you know, Jay Prince and um, him. Because, you know, he said he talked to Jay Prince for a long time on the phone. But, you know, my understanding was, you know, his money wasn't right, what they was offering him or he was making or whatever. Because he was also talking about he was going to give a rap. I guess because, you know, the money wasn't right. So since him and Jay Prince then made up, I guess he's getting back into, you know, the rap game and, 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 and going to go full force with it. But, this is what just happened. And y'all, honey, come crazy. Mama just jumped on social media. This is his mother right here with the red hair. And Lord knows I try to catch her at a good angle, but I couldn't. I'm just saying, y'all, she don't care. She, she, she just, he, her son just like her. Okay. They don't care. She didn't care her hair went comb. She didn't care. Just, she ain't trying to put some lipstick on. None of that. She just jumped on there and just start talking. But anyway, this is what she just said. She said that um, No Love, which is Finesse Two Times' brother, just pulled up on her. And she said that people must have a camera following her around or something. Okay? Because she said, ain't no way he would have known where she was. And she said she didn't get scared. She said because she, you know, she, she ain't had no fear on her or anything like that. But she said he jumped out the car because she was like, she saw the little fancy car. And she was like, who is this? Because she said she moved around. You know how she want to move around. And she don't, you know, be telling everybody she finessed two times. You're not, you know, honeycomb brazy mama and all of that stuff. She don't even tell people. So she said she can move how she wants to in the streets. So when this car pulled up, she said she didn't know what to expect. But then No Love jumps out the car. And she said that he walked up to her. He didn't threaten her or anything like that. He just came and gave her a hug. And this and that and that. And this. this is what she just said. And now I'm asking y'all in the comment section. Okay. Just because No Love jumped up, you know, out the car and this and that and that and this and give you a hug and tell you he loved you and he ain't even mad at, you know, Honeycomb and all of this stuff. Do y'all believe him and would y'all trust him? Because I'm going to tell y'all this. This is why I said I'm kind of losing a little respect for Honeycomb. Because first of all, you lost your grandmama and you lost your grandpa with some street association mess. Okay. You just lost your grandparents not too long ago, okay? And now you're out here and you're beefing with people and this and that and that and this. And my understanding is his mother, I guess, lives in the same place, area, or what you know, city and state, whatever. I don't know. I get possibility. That's for that's two times now. I don't know. I'm just saying. For them to pop out on her, maybe I don't know. Okay, but. How can you not look out for your mama? That's my thing. Like, how are you not looking out for your mother? Like, first of all, she shouldn't be out here looking like this. And you got money in your pocket. Okay, that's number one. You're supposed to be seeing to your mother. All right? And number two, if you beefing with somebody, you're supposed to make sure a mama bear is safe. Ain't nobody just riding up on her like that. So for you to be leaving your mama just out here in the open like this, I, you know, I, you, honeycomb, I'm not feeling this. I am not feeling this whatsoever. This woman shouldn't even have to go through that, even if she would have got scared. She shouldn't have to go through no mess like this, especially after what happened to your grandparents. Make this make sense, y'all. Now, I'm going to let y'all listen to a little bit of what she said. And, yes, she's acting as if everything is all good between her and no love and that he ain't on no bull crap and this and that and that and this. But isn't this how people, I'm just saying, let they ops know, I can take your mama out anytime I want to. 
Is this how they let you know without even, you know, making a threat? But they, 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 in all actual reality, this is still a threat because they are letting you know your people can get touched. If we can't get to you, we can get your mama now. Your mom, and he already been saying some bogus stuff, y'all. They have been saying some tripped out stuff to Honeycomb online. Now, this is the worst thing that they said. They told, they said some stuff like they'll send him back. They'll send him where his grandmama at and his grandfather at since he missed him so much. When I heard that, I was like, man, people just, they, they really do not care. But now they are riding around. You would think they have much more things to do than to be sitting up here looking for Honeycomb Brazy's mama. And y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this. Do y'all think that this was innocent that they pulled up on her? Because she was like, they must got a camera on me or somebody following me. Because she was like, ain't no way they could have um, known where I was at. This is what she said. But they found out what she was, y'all. And do y'all think that this was a warning to Honeycomb Brazy? Listen to what she, she about to say, y'all. They must have got cameras on me or something. I'm just going to put it like that. It's something. something I don't get this. I ain't going to talk too many because I can't talk like that. But I go to the store. The first person. I'm gonna be on, I know I'm going to be on, on camera, on live, all that shit. I go straight to the store. <laughs> I promise. I'm going to just be straight up because I'm a female. If, if this dude want to do anything. And that sounded like a kid in the background, like a young child. And they was like, I thought we was about to get taken out. She said, this is what a child that was with the mama said. She was like, I thought we was about to get taken out. Y'all, this is, this is not good. Like, you put your mama up somewhere and make sure she's good. You don't, you don't just leave her out for the wolves. This, this is not good, honeycomb. Not at all. Enemy hurt me. He could have hurt me, kill me, anything. He didn't do nothing but hug me and show me love. Man, when I went to the store, no love was at the fucking store. Like, I know I'm finna be on his own um, video. Because it wasn't nothing I could do. He was already there. And they recorded her. And they were already at the store where she was on her way to go to the store at. So, um, she did say this. She said it was some kind of inside job for them to even knew, find where she was at, y'all. Listen to what she's saying. He was already there, man. I'm talking about, he was like, Ma, I love you. He was like, what up, Ma Dukes? Because when I first go to the store, I look at the car. The car's so clean anyway. The car already got my attention. I'm looking at the front of the car. When I look at the car... I'm like, damn, that's a clean ass car. That me and my daughter said, we were like, damn, that's a clean ass car. Soon as we said that's a clean ass car, we get ready to step out. I'm, I'm, I'm already at the store. I go in the store, I buy a beer, I buy a pack of swishy. But remember me, my hair ain't cold. So I had my hood on my head. But it's so hot outside, I was like, fuck it, I ain't gotta hide my hair. Fuck that shit. So I take my hoodie off my head. When I take my hoodie off my head, the first person to jump out the car is no love. He was like, what up, my dude? I was like, what up? Remind me. I was scared. I didn't have no fear in my heart. None of that. It just was like, it was like I was so fucking, I was just, he was so happy to see me. Man, you got to join this. For real, y'all got to join this live. You have to come in. I, I, I got to see you for you to join. It won't work like that. Okay. Man, I'm going to be all over TV, everything. You ain't understand me. They must got wires on me. I must be on investigation. Why you say that? They got cameras on me or something, man. I'm not stuck. Listen, I don't talk to nobody. I don't visit nobody. I don't even say I'm honeycomb mama. I act like I'm a person that ain't even his mama because I'm in a whole nother city. So I feel like I can walk on free as a bird. But I'm going to tell you, okay, I'm like Tamaya. Okay, we went to brush the dog. We went outside and brush the dog hair for dog hair won't be in the house. You know how a dog shed hair. So we went to brush the dog hair real good. Took her for a while. She, first she ran away from the house. We had to go catch her ass. The German Shepherd. 
So remind me, I see two girls out there, but they trying to sell some pussy. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? So they going to a white man club. They already smoking that good weed. Yeah. So it smells so good. I want to ask them where they get the smoke from, but I ain't asking because they, they look young children. So remind me, I'm seeing them smoke weed, but a white man pulled up. He tried to get them some money, so I see them walk that way, go that way. So I'm in the house. I was like, shit, I'm just going to the store, buy me a bill, buy me a pack of switches. I get to the store, I see a parked car, unknown. But it be so clean, it gonna get your attention. So when I look at the car, I said, me and my daughter looked at it, we said, well, that was a clean motherfucking car, what car that is. So as soon as I step like this, get ready to walk, no love was like, somebody in the car was like, what up, my dude? All the person said, my dude, it was Birmingham dude, um, Memphis dude. So I'm like, Birmingham and Mrs. Memphis do it. That's the only one I call you, Mount Duke. So I feel like, Mount Duke, some bitch, you gotta know my son. Anybody call me Mount Duke, I know they know Honeycomb. So yeah. I step around. I'm like, he jumped out the car. He was like, Mount Duke, I just wanna hug you and I just want you to know everything cool. Yeah, he right. hugged me. He let me go. He hugged me. He told me he loved me. And he told me, man, I lost my um grandparents. I lost my own um, people here. Yes, and I know he filmed me. Yeah, he was a part of that truck. We just seen him at the store. He was like, he loved him too. And he was like, I love Kong too. And I was like, shit, I would like to be for real. I put your brother's shirt on for, for him. I love both of y'all. I'm recording y'all. I don't know. I'm pretty sure the girl. Man, he was, I know y'all ain't let this pussy ass nigga record. Though. Wow. Ain't nothing I can do about it. The man apologized. See, one thing about God, God is a forgiving God. I gotta forgive the man. He apologized. I ain't know. Jeffro, he went to take a shit. So, oh my if goodness. we would've got some heck nuts this thing, nobody would know even know who fucked us up. He could've did anything else, but he didn't. Oh, that nigga could've. I, re I respect that, because you, you ain't listen. I'm by myself. I ain't got no gun, no heat, no net on me. You remind you, I ain't got shit on me. So if he wanted to do us, he could have did us and killed us dead. And, we, and everybody was like, hey, the mama got Because it was a warning, so lady. He could have laid us out if he wanted to. I'm just going to put it like that. You don't really think it. Because we, we ain't know who in the car. We don't even know who in the car, who stuck out of her. When I look at him, I said, that's no love. He got out and hugged me. Do y'all feel that was a warning, or do you all feel like it, um, he was trying to make up with um, Honeycomb? Or do y'all feel like he was giving him a warning, letting him know that, yo, you know, I can touch your mama if I want to? Because this is what I get from this. This is what I get from this. And this woman is, she is trying to act as if, oh, he said he loved my son too, and he this and he that. Um, why would he be in her neighborhood and like she said, she don't talk to nobody or none of this stuff like that, but he pulls up on her and <laughs> she said he was at the store already. So was he parked in front of the store? And if he was parked in front of the store, how did he know she was about to come there? Y'all something ain't right about this situation at all. So y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this. Do y'all think that there was a friendly jump out and hug? honeycomb mama or was this a warning to let you know don't don't make us do a repeat okay y'all that what just happened to your grandmama now might happen to your mama which you keep running your mouth and do y'all feel that honeycomb should be looking out for his mama better than he's doing because right now for you to be beefing with people and then you're not making sure that your family's straight um that ain't good Y'all tell me, y'all please tell me in the comment section, what do y'all think? Because I put it in the title. I feel like this was a warning to Honeycomb that um, don't make us get up with your mama. Do not make us get up with your mama. Because we will. And we know where she is. We, 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 we got access to her and your people. This is what I get from this. Um. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Something is a brewing between um, the two of these rappers. And it's not good. It's not good at all. You don't go, I'm just saying, you don't get into it with somebody. What they say, if you ain't got the money to go to, go to the WAR with somebody, you, you leave them alone. Um, 
is finesse them, letting him know they got the upper hand. Is they trying to give him a warning? And finesse two times, you know, shouldn't he be trying to get his brother to stay out of stuff like this? Especially and he's on papers too. Or is they calling themselves trying to, you know, put some fear in Honeycomb? And I don't think this is going to work. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Because if you ask me, this is going to make Honeycomb Breezy worse. Because I know he probably going to feel some type of way about you pulling up on his mama. Okay, y'all? Um, Y'all let me know because I, I got a feeling this is not going to turn out well. Even if they made up, something is a brewing with these two. And I don't know why that they are, you know, I understand where Honeycomb Breezy is coming from. That, you know, Finesse is on some bull crap with him. And he was on some bull crap when he was locked up and this and that and that and this. And the very thing that he acted like he wasn't going to do, he ran and did and all of this stuff. And, you know, if it wasn't for, you know, Honeycomb. Finesse probably would not be where he is right now, basically. Okay, y'all? So, I'm just saying, y'all, what y'all think about this? Because this is messy. This is so messy to the 25th power messy, okay, y'all? But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Uh, Honeycomb, you have been warned, okay? They're letting you know something. And see to your mama. Please, see to your people. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you liked this video, and thanks for watching. Peace.